So to start and kick off the session, I am, uh, would like everybody to welcome Pierre Hainaut. Right. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Please excuse me for my English, which is not very good. <laughs> First, I would like to thank also Thomas Egele and Jean-Michel Blotier to have invited us and uh, give us the opportunity to present these early days in France for computer graphics. I will so introduce briefly the main events and the main companies that made this story. Uh, there was indeed some computer graphics in France in the 70s and even in the 60s, but it was slow, limited in quality, and therefore not very usable for entertainment. In uh, 1968, Michel Lucas was the first person in France to obtain a CD in computer graphics. Not that at around the same time in the US, CGRAPH was created. In 1970, Pierre Bézier created at Renault created the curves we all still use today for typography, animation, computer data design, and much more. And in 1971, the Frenchman Henri Gouraud held his CD at the University of Utah about computer display of curved surface. Henri Gouraud was the first to use interpolation to render polygonal object as a smooth surface. In uh, 1974, very funny, a French plotter company, Benston, registered infography as a trademark. Fortunately, they never kept the use of that, as become the common word in French for computer graphics. Anyway, in the 70s, outside of labs, computer graphics mainly is mainly wireframe because of a lack of computer power and image display. We found these wireframes mainly in free fields, simulators, computer design, and architecture. At the end of the 70s, techniques move from wireframes to raster. On paper, besides the pen plotter, we got printers, so it was easier to make image and not only line drawing. And the uh, frame buffer displays become more affordable. It became possible to make somewhat realistic image with computers. So at the end of the 70s, Flight Simulator acquired the possibility to display fully shaded scenes what we call day image, instead of just wireframe image, which were more representative of night scene. In France, there was two main companies making these simulators, Thomson and Sogitech, and these two quickly understand they could use the techniques they learn, making simulation software for army, aircraft companies, boat manufacturers, etc to make beautiful image for the entertainment industry. So in France, it's in 1983, we saw the first French movies. Note that in 1982, Tron was released in the USA. Maison Vol was directed by André Martin and Philippe Keo from INA, but made at Sogitech with their simulators. UGC and Schneider are a couple of ads made by Thompson on their simulators. And uh, Human Unknown direct was directed by Michel Francois with many companies and schools to help. It was in very high definition, more than 7,000 by 5,000. In fact, uh, Human Unknown has no Field. And uh, it was the person who works on the first two of these projects would become the major, the major computer graphic studio in Paris. Around the same time, several public institutions, schools, and universities also begin to make movies. First and mainly at INA, which was a main public research institution about TV, Jean-Charles Urquart started to work on 3D and was soon joined by two other guys. You will hear the whole story from Jean-Charles in an hour or so. 
At Paris University, a group of researchers founded ATI. This stands for Art et Technologie de l'Image, not the AMD ATI, and begin to make artistic film. Michel Brett, 9,600 beaux, was selected and presented at SIGGRAPH 1984. It was one of the first French films at SIGGRAPH. At NSAD, I created ADOZI, Atelier d'Image et d'Informatique, one of our first movies, Anbroto's Escalier, won a prize at Eurographics in 1985. As we have plenty of things to speak about this afternoon, we choose to leave school and universities outside our scope. Maybe we will do a session about the next year. Starting in 1983, Sagitech began to use its simulation computers each night to make movies. Many advertisements, you have the list there, about five minutes in a film for Renault on the electronics in their next car, Electronic Now, and in 1986, they created the first special effects for a French feature film, L'Unique. So in this year, Sogitech was the main company making computer graphics in Europe. Xavier Nicolas, who was the founder of this activity at Sogitech, and Jerzy Kula, who worked on many of these movies, will tell us more later this afternoon. In 1985, there is a big change. Until then, all the people we spoke about had to write their own software on big mainframes, or sometimes mini computers. With the emergence of the PC and some big graphic box connected to it, we'll see the arrival of turnkey systems at a relatively affordable price, around 300,000 francs at the time. It would be about 80,000 euros of today. There were two main such systems. One was the Cubicom picture, make, picture Maker imported from the USA, the other one was the application ImageX 3D running on Radiance hardware. It was developed by, in France by Olivier Emery, who will tell us all about this project later on. While still expensive, this system made it easier for small new companies to start doing digital image. Phantom, which made its first two movies at Inaz and Sogitech, could now get its own system with Cubicomp. Georges Lacroix will tell it about that in a minute. Both company and McGuffin started with ImageX 3D. Again, we are happy to have Pierre Buffin and Jacques Bled with us. And a bit later on, Zeda could start with Opium 3D. Somebody tell us just now, you start with Cubicom too? I didn't remember. So Cubicom and Opium. And Maurice is there to speak about that. These four companies were growing fast and are the most well-known, but many other companies were founded in these early days in France on this system. In 1986, a new hardware became available with the SDI workstation, which would soon outperform the PCs for 3D application and for the next 15 years. Thomson and INA merged their computer graphics team to create a new company, TDI, Thomson Digital Image, with Jean-Charles Urcade as chairman. TDI developed and sold their software Explore. They also provide services around and technology for those clients that do not wish to use the tool themselves. This soon makes some clients angry as they are competitors. TDI was competitors on some contracts with a company who sells them the software, and they think the competition is not fair because TDI was making the software and also image. So in 1989, it was decided to make a new company with the 3D image department of Sogitech and TDI. This makes for many years the most important company in that field in Paris. We will hear there Xavier Nicolas and Jerzy Cullard about Ex Machina. At the end of the 80s, a man, Alain Guillot, founded a new big company, Video System, which will specialize in real-time computer graphics and virtuality. Among other experience, François Garnier will speak about this company at 6 p.m. To close this brief timeline of the early days in France, I want to say that all these beautiful stories about computer graphics in France in the 80s were made possible because of very good software guys 
talented graphic artist with a French touch, but even if I know one of our speakers doesn't agree, I must say that all these stories were really helped because at that time, French government, François Mitterrand as president and Jacques Lang as minister of culture, had a very proacti proactive attitude towards this new field. The found plan recherche image was put in place to help companies innovate this new emerging domain. It was indeed not possible to quote everybody, so forgive me for omissions or mistakes. This story is uh, to be followed on our wiki. You have the address there, where we try to converge all the story about that. Thank you. Thank you, Pierre.